What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So I'm going through all of this stuff when it comes to Chronodes and it's kind of interesting to me because it doesn't seem like they're doing enough right now. And I understand the overall concept of Chronodes. I mean, you can't really do anything but push out the idea of Chronodes and then more people get into it. The price goes up. You start seeing people compound uh, their nodes or their crow nodes into nodes, and uh, then you end up, you know, seeing that price increase, and people end up profiting off of it, right? Or people that end up claiming profit off of it, other people will compound, and hopefully they build a larger bag in the future. But this whole concept of uh, nodes to me, I mean, is great and all. But it really all depends on how many people get into the position, how many people are creating these nodes, these 20 nodes that, you know, you are 20 crow nodes that you have to put in there to create a node. And it's just so interesting uh, seeing how things are moving day after day. And I wanted to get into that today and see how much was made and also about how much I have made in the last couple of days and then also the whole entire time of holding crow nodes. So this... I mean, all these videos that I've been creating, you know, the fact that it could be the end of Chronodes, all of this stuff is really to kind of get the name out there and talk about Chronodes. It's not really putting any type of bad name or bad taste in your mouth when it comes to uh, Chronodes. Um, I think uh, this definitely has potential but it all depends on the people, right? The people that get behind it. So make sure you guys hit that like button, also hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel quite a bit. I do appreciate all the people that watch my content. I really do guys, uh, because I know I put out a lot of content and I love creating these videos and this is why I put out a lot of content because I love creating them. I live for creating videos and being here on the internet and talking to you guys about uh, different investments, whether it's stock related or crypto related, I love talking about them. And I only really want to talk about the things that people want to hear about. So if people are watching them, you know, I will continue to talk about it. So the fact that you're watching Chronodes and we had, we've had a number of videos get around 4,000, 5,000 views, I'll take that, um, you know, any day of the week. So I appreciate all you guys that are interested in Chronodes. So Let's go ahead and dive into this. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter, definitely follow me on Twitter at Perry 8 k uh, does help out. But let's look at Chronodes price really quick. So Chronodes is currently up 23% from, uh, you know, last 24 hours. Now, we did see a decent size drop off all the way down to about $5. The low of the last 24 hours is $5.06. The high is around $6.35. You can see that, uh, again, the price is currently, currently around $6.25. Uh, You're not really seeing where the circulating supply is, but we know what that is. Is, is around a million, which means the market cap is somewhere around six million, six point two five million uh, dollar market cap. And again, you're seeing this consolidation really around these levels. You've seen it up in the level of six fifty, decrease down to f uh, high fives, and then increase back up to about six uh, twenty or so, six twenty, six thirty. So. Uh, with all of this being said, understand what this price actually was around a month ago. This was around $44 a month ago before decreasing down to some of these lower levels that we're seeing now. So is Chronodes dead? It's looking like things are really um, going south uh, right here, right? And uh, you're not seeing a ton of nodes that are being created. I guess people can create these nodes and essentially make something bigger of themselves. But I'm going to stick with what nodes I have. And yes, it could be a missed opportunity and where this could go. And a lot of people are bullish on this activity, but I'm not as bullish. I want to create the passive income and collect it as much as I possibly can. And, uh, you know, figure out when enough is enough. If I put more money into it, then it could be something that goes kind of south for me. And CRO has actually been moving in the right direction since I've been, you know, making these purchases, since I've been making these changes. So really my CRO is now staked and I don't have any way of going back. So I pretty much put in uh, $2,100 $2, and have been gaining back uh, ever since. And I don't know how long it's going to take me to gain that back depending on what this price is. But this is where we're standing with Chronodes. If we go into some of the detail here, understand that the last time I looked at this, it was at 181,000. So really only 2,000 nodes have been created over the last couple of days or the last day or so. Um, and that's not good because if 2000 nodes are created that's not enough and it's not sustainable for all of the nodes that they have to pay out now i know they did something with the rewards and basically the 10 percent tax wasn't 10 percent; it was lowered and now it's back to normal but 
you know, people are still receiving 0.5 or 2%, which means that eventually, probably somewhere around a month or so, they're going to come out and say, you know what, we need to lower the rates again. And they're going to need to lower the rates to probably 1%. And it makes sense. 1% is still a lot daily. If you look over the year, you're going to be gaining quite a bit back um, on the amount that you invested. So I think it's definitely a, a good a good way of gauging if the um, project is doing okay by understanding how many nodes are created versus how many node or crow nodes are actually going out because people are getting paid out these nodes every single day, no matter what. You can't go back and say, I wanna take my node back out. That's not the case. Once you create that node, that money is gone. It's, it's used elsewhere and it's paid to fund out different places, liquidity pools, all of this other stuff. So it's more than what you think. You can't get that money back. It's all uh, done. now. I'm not saying that this will not blow up because it could. People could catch wind of this at a level of $5 and it can absolutely take off to where so many people create more nodes, which means that you having your 50 nodes might be worth more than you think. But right now, if no other um, uh, people are coming into the project, you see Crow nodes continue to drop down in price. So let's go ahead and look at exactly what I'm holding here in my Crow nodes. And uh, when I go and look at uh, my Crow node spreadsheet, you're going to see that I collected about $705 and I spent $2,100. So over the last couple of days, you can see this uh, gradually decrease and get all the way down to a level to where I collected $7 the last time out of, uh, you know, 1.5 nodes that I've uh, been paid out. When up here, I had two nodes and I was paid out $67 and the value of it was $37 uh, there. So um, you can see the difference and you can see how long it's going to take me to actually get my my money back at this point And it could be worse depending on if they decide to lower the rewards again now I understand if, if it gets to five dollars a day, right? If it's something where I end up uh, You know only being able to collect five dollars a day in uh, CRO or CRN or whatever it is I'll probably just let it go and then collect it at some point some later point depending on what the price is and all of that stuff but either way it's gonna take me a long time, right? If you look at, uh, you know, $1 that I get times, you know, the 365 days, I'm looking at $365. That's still not enough to get me over that threshold. That's literally pulling out just the $300 worth and leaving me with the $1,000 that I have left over. So every day, if I can get paid out $7, it would be good but it still would take me a long time in order to get my money back. So um, I'm just gonna take it as if a lot of that money is gone and all of this is considered as passive income. I'm still gonna track it this way and know that I'm down $1,394, but it's just gonna take me so long to get this money back that I don't know what it will be in the end and this whole system or this whole process might be collapsed by the time we get through with this. So anyways, I wanted to talk to you guys about Chronodes and, and tell you what I feel because my overall mindset behind it is, yes, I saw a lot of potential in it, and I still can see some potential in it for people that want to get in it, but you don't wanna risk everything, right? Risk what you're willing to lose. I only wanted to lose 1,400, but I ended up putting a little bit more in there. I still am comfortable with losing um, you know, uh, $2,000 uh, or so, but now, I'm literally at that level to where I'm comfortable with losing what I have left. It's $1,400 and I collected $700 worth. So am I upset with the fact that things aren't really holding at these levels? I wish I could have collected, um, you know, a couple more times up, maybe up to like 12 occasions. I could have collected a couple more times up in the $60 range. That would have been amazing. But, uh, you know, it it's understandable. I knew the project would... Um, definitely have some pullback. I didn't think it would be this much pullback. And I thought I would be able to collect by at least a half a year. But looking how this is, it might not, I might not be able to collect in a half a year. But depending on what happens, because people still may get back in, it's at $5 right now or $6. $6 is a very low price to create nodes. And I'm not saying that you physically have to create nodes for my benefit. Uh, create nodes if you believe it's a good idea. If you don't, then don't get into it. Because right now, again, it has dropped from 44 all the way down to where it is now at a level of, you know, $6 per, um, per coin. And if you're only getting paid out 0.5, then I'm only able to collect $7. So um, things are looking pretty shaky. 
but I'm still in it, right? I can't take my money out, so I'm still collecting uh, my CRO, and today I collected a little bit more CRO, but make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Let me know what you think about this position, because I'm interested to know. Um, also, make sure that uh, you uh, check out the links in the description. Uh, I don't know if I said that. I have a $25 uh, referral link for crypto.com, where we both get $25 if you sign up and get the Ruby Red card, which you would get, um, uh, two percent back on that card plus you would be able to stake that four hundred dollars for six percent or is it eight percent it, it's a pretty high percent it might be ten percent it's a pretty high percentage and uh you would be able to collect that and get that apy and maybe get some returns on if you lost some money in crn which is still not over understand that um also follow me on twitter at perry 8k but i'm gonna get out of here and i'll catch you in the next one